Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video by the way. My name is Hawa Eve and this is Raw and Uncut. Welcome guys. In this video, in this channel, what we'll be talking about, we will be, uh, what we're going to do actually is self-development, self-realization, self-evaluation. Let us grow together. Yeah, let us grow. Let us change how we've been doing things. And we're going to talk about relationships. In relationships, in terms of uh, friendships, in terms of romantic relationships, in terms of family relationships, how you relate maybe with your relatives, cousins, uncles, brothers, sisters, stuff like that. As long as it's a relationship, even workplace relationships, all those kind of relationships. That's what we're going to be talking about here. That's what we're going to be discussing and learning new th and learning old habits and learning new things okay kindly subscribe share and like this video of and comment down below okay okay let's get to it okay and i want us to talk about today we're going to talk about friendships i'm going to start with friendships friendships are actually something that uh, i have gone through in some things and i was like oh i'm sure people have actually gone through these things let us try and unveil some of the things. And I know you out there, you have gone through certain things. And I want us to unlearn. Let us unlearn some silly things that we've been doing that lead us getting hurt at the end of the day. And start learning new ways. Okay. And I want to throw a question out, out there to you. Have you ever been taught how to make friends? Have you ever been taught like... This is how you make a good friend. Yes, we are taught how to relate at work, how you can relate with your boss, how can you relate with your other colleagues. We are being taught on how we can relate on how to find a life partner. We are taught on how to, how you can get a, a what, what do you call it, a business partner. But I don't see or know if we have ever been taught about making friends. Or if you have, kindly comment down below. Let me know. Let me know. Let me understand how. Yeah, Because even in churches, in mosques, in schools, in temples, if you go to temples and mosques and all that, I don't see when we have ever been told, hi, this is how you make friends. And for you to know a good friend, we only talk about things like stay away from bad company. But we are not taught, okay, actually, you are now in a friendship. So, what are the things to do? What are the things not to do? How do you know this and that? You understand? So, today, let us jump in into the video. We're going to talk about how to know your real friends. How to know your real friends. I have about eight, eight, nine points to talk about today. I've done quite some research. And uh, as we move, I'll be telling you about a few things that have happened to me personally. And I'm sure maybe I relate with some of you. And if you have not yet, and you are in some friendships right now, clicks, bestie, bestie, you know. Let us see what you will change, what you'll do better, and what maybe you're not doing and start doing to make your friendship more stronger, better. Okay, let's get into it. So, guys, I want us to, I want to ask you something. Are your friends healthy for you? actually are your friends healthy for you do they bring positivity in you or they're always giving you negative vibes you know like uh you tell them about something but it never sits well with them for a reason or another i don't know but uh i want us to understand the people we are around the people we are always hanging around are they our friends? So do they bring out of us? Do they bring out the worst of you? That always, you know, when you're with, with this friend, you will fight. You will cast somebody. I don't know. Or whenever you are with this friend, you know you're going to have a good time. You even always long to hang around this person. Okay. Do you have the same beliefs with your friends? Do you have the same beliefs? Like, Muko aligned the same Okay, it's not a must that if, if I'm doing finance, you also have to do finance. Not in that way. Like the way you think. I might be doing finance and you're doing something like HR. But in a way, kuna vile tukona like terms. Yeah? I can pull you up, you can pull me up. You feel me? Do you grow with your friends? Do you grow together, you guys? Do you? Ama una changwa uko ya nasonga. Ama una songa unumuacha. Which is which? Yeah, another one I would like to ask you 
are your friends the kind of people you would actually want them to meet your parents? Would you like the friend you are with today? There, maybe you're watching this video with hey, hey, hey guys. Would you like them to meet your friends, your parents? Are they kind of people you'd like even to associate yourself with to people? Parents, relatives, aunties, you know, the aunties are critics. Are they people you'd love them to meet your wonder unamjua? You know your friend. Are they the kind of friends you'd love them to meet your parents? So guys, I want us to jump into my first point. Don't mind, I have to take notes. So let us jump into the... And I want to teach you something about friendships. And this is very, very vital. I want you to check yourself and ask yourself, in this kind of friendship, there are two types of friendships. In this kind of friendship, what kind of a friendship am I in? Is it a utility friendship? You know which, your, which one is a utility friendship? Like the one for colleagues. All you do is that you are all focused on one goal. We work. We came here to work. We have a goal to make the company better. We have the company. We have the goal to do what we came here to do. That's a utility friendship. Or we are selling a certain thing. So we come together. The only thing that we are like-minded in is that we are selling this thing. We make what we are making. We go home until the other project comes up. That's a utility friendship. Like it's do me, I do you. You understand? There's also another type of friendship that is called, um, it's called what? Sorry, guys. The other kind of friendship is called a pleasure friendship. Mostly pleasure friendship. Uh, nowadays, people call it, um, what do they call it? Friends with benefits, FWBs. Yeah, that's the kind of friendship. Uh, pleasure you know in this kind of friendship you don't expect to have big goals with this person you don't expect that hey let her thank you i bring thank you we, we do this project that's the kind of friendship that is called pleasure friendship all that you do is pleasure we go out the only time i want to go out i holler at you the only time i want to i want to go for a hiking i call you but when i'm doing serious projects you're not in my circle you're not the kind so check yourself the kind of friendship you are in which one is it is it a utility friendship or is it a, a pleasure friendship and there's now this other one the third one is called friendship of good friendship of good it has mutual understanding and mostly it leads to serious things it leads to serious business partners and mostly it has to carry the utility and now the good because you have something mutual it mostly leads to marriages and making friendship, uh, lifetime friendships, business friendships. And then it comes to like people actually can get married. You see, for the married people, if you don't know what you are in, you just say that, oh, I'm in a romantic, hey, my friend, no. That is called a good relationship. They, you have some mutual understanding. There's something that you sat down, maybe you liked his character, maybe you liked her her aura, maybe you liked something about her, and you feel like this one, I can spend the rest of my life with her. With all the flaws, with everything she has or he has, that's what you call good relationship. Good friendship. This one, you like about the qualities of someone. You are in admiration of what they do. You love their oomph. You love how they do their things. You love how courageous they are. You love how, how they just do their things. You have the awe of them. You understand? That's what you... So I've told you about three. Check yourself. In this friendship that I'm in, is it a utility friendship? Is it a pleasure friendship? Or is it a good friendship? Because you might be in a utility friendship and your head is thinking about marriage i don't know and then you end up saying he broke my heart she broke my heart it's because you just did not understand the kind of friendship that you are in you feel me can you take note of the three kinds of friendships and most mostly we fall for maybe the good one yet the person is just there for the utility maybe you want the pleasure and the other person is thinking about good or maybe you, you are just there for the utility and the other person is thinking about pleasure. You'll always be at loggerheads. 
you understand you'll you'll always but that's why mostly we say i liked him i don't think if he if he understood me she liked me, she i liked her but i don't know what happened it's because you you guys did not understand where are we are we in the utility are we in the good relationship friendship or are we in the pleasure you feel me i hope i've, I've made it clear for you to understand so that we, we don't make mistakes in what we do okay so let's jump in you have a bestie bestie there let us know how to know your if you have real friends real not good real there's a difference between real and good and also want to teach you about something else there's a difference between kind there's a difference between being kind between uh, overly nice between indebted and feeling and feeling what feeling being kind feeling indebted being overly nice and at the same time uh sorry guys and at the same time being a people pleaser now you see when you're kind let us start with kind when you're kind you just you know there are people who are not kind aki like sometimes you like complaining about the makangas who are rude some of them are not kind they actually don't care they actually don't care that's none of their business they don't care what you do they don't care where panda too much lipo enda there are some who say they are not kind so there are people like that who are not kind but if you are a kind person you should know your boundaries where to extend your kindness you don't overdo things if what i can offer you is 50 shillings at this point that's what i can offer you hmm? if what i can offer you right now is that moral support you want money but at the moment i can only offer moral support that's what i'm going to give you that's being kind you offer what you can you don't overstretch hmm? you offer what exactly you can and why you're comfortable in at that particular point being a people pleaser now and this is where most people fall in is when you're doing things outrageous things let's say for example i'm in need of um i'm in need maybe of uh of what i may just be in need of a hundred k and i ask you kindly i need a hundred k can you loan me this and honestly all you can give me is five thousand now this is where the people please are comes in you will go out of your way so bad that you will even leave yourself bruised so that you can please this person people pleasers want people to love them to see they are good people and i've come to realize most of the people pleasers they actually need to take time and first of all understand themselves because there are people who have grown in very very toxic homes or maybe you've had just a bad life while growing up or even right now you some things are going through in your life maybe someone will come back to buy about you so you want the other person to like you so what do you do you keep on doing things extra things they didn't even ask you but you just do extra 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 that's not being kind that's being a people pleaser you want them to like you you want them to see you in a certain way you want them to see you as a nice person if you are a nice person trust me even if you can't help me what i want right now i know you can help me when you can you understand that's where you, you become a nice person but when you become a people pleaser most people when growing up maybe maybe even if in school maybe teachers could tell you you are useless there's nothing good that can come out of you blah 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 or at home you're always sidelined when everyone else is going ahead so you find yourself doing things so that you can please them so that they can like you so that when they're going for that trip they can call you you understand let's stop being people pleasers let's stop because you're going to hurt and that is where most people say i was always there for this person i went overboard i did this and this for this person but they broke me they broke me i was really broken it's because you just didn't understand the difference between kind and being a people pleaser the third one was being indebted being indebted is like you've ever come through for me so i always feel indebted to you even in things that i know i'm not comfortable in doing i just do them that one works hand in hand kind of with being a people pleaser but feeling indebted is when you feel like 
ikawa mtu na mlipanga deni ali come through for me atapate feel tired so una feel like I have to always come through come through even when you can't when you're sick when you're broken when you're stressed when you feel like, when you have a project to run you even put it at hold so that you can do the other thing let's stop that okay and then being over denial it's almost the same as a people pleaser doing things beyond your limit let's cut it okay okay good so now let's get into our first point of how to know your real friend Number one, do you trust? Do they trust you? Do you trust them? What is it that you tell your friends? Of course, you have. There are things that you don't overshare. There are things that you don't go around telling people. But for the little they tell you, what is it? What is it that they they tell you? Yeah. What is it that your friends share with you? What is it that you share with your friends? You know there are things that we have that we we have in our lives but you always say hey he says he ambia e he says he ambia jane he says he ambia peter why because you feel like you don't trust them enough you don't trust them enough to tell them that particular thing do you trust them do they trust you check check on that what is it that you tell them and what is it that you feel comfortable telling the other person that's number one. number two, experiences what kind of experiences have you had with your friends? Good or bad? In the good ones, what are they? In the bad ones, what are they? Have they ever left you stranded in a bad situation? Have they ever run away from you when they had you sick? Have they ever run away from you when they had you going broke? Have they ever run away from you when they had that uh, something is happening in your life? Good or bad? Did they run away? Did they stick? What kind of experiences do you have? If you have a bad experience with someone, no kaichinu fanya this time, this time, this time, this time, they did it. Run, drop it. It might not be all the eight points that I'm going to tell you, but you might find four or five or three about this person, and they're the most annoying ones. Just drop that person. Just drop them. It won't hurt. It might hurt, but it won't hurt. Okay. Check if they defend you. Do they defend you? Do they defend you behind your back? When they go somewhere and they are told about you, when they are somewhere and they hear something about you, do they defend you? When you are in a situation, do they go on the other people's side or they, do they actually stand with you? They actually stand with you no matter what. Do they defend you in private? Ama they only come to tell you, okay, like for example, someone tells you like, uh, I was with this and this people and they say this and this about you. Then you ask them, what, what, what did you say? Nothing, I just kept quiet. Run away, that's not your friend. As a friend, and you see mama for a same, and no, that's not the if you know. No, that's not how she is. And if she did it, probably there was a reason behind it. Do they defend you? Or they also join the other people? Do they actually act like when you are in a crowd, do they act like, oh, you're not really close, but you're close? Check, 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 check. And there are so many. And imagine you can't tell unless you're careful. You can't tell, but they are there. Trust me. I will tell you my stories. You will understand what I'm talking about. So, Do they confront you? We don't like being confronted, right? We want our friends to say we are good. What we are doing is good. We want them to support us in good and in bad. But there is bad that we, you are not supposed to be supported in. You can't go around abusing people anyhow. Then you expect me to support you. No, I will tell you that is wrong. That's not right. That's not good. I might not do it in the person's presence. Because you know I have to defend you. You remember the third point? I have to defend you. But when we are together, I'll definitely tell you that was wrong. You don't go about abusing people. You don't go about treating people anyhow. Do they confront you? Do they correct you? Maybe there's a decision you're about to make. Do they correct you or they just let you do it because they are supportive friends? If your friend supports you in doing wrong, honey, 
that's not your friend anataka uingie kwa shimo and she will be the same person who will go out there laughing and talking about the silly things that you did she will be the broadcaster she did not stop you from doing it and now she's rejoicing that you are in a pit do they do your friends confront you even guys this is not only for the chicks it's even for the guys for the married people for everybody you know self evaluation has no limit even for people in high school for us we are out here for people who are married it's not self growth self development is not for at a certain group of people it's for everybody to avoid feeling down to avoid losing your self esteem you know do your friends compliment you do they compliment you this one i think mostly falls for girls i don't know about guys but i would love to know how, how do guys relate do they tell each other i love your shirt but i know they tell each other i love your car that one i know when it comes to cars i know they tell each other i love your car nice car nice house guys i know they tell you but i don't know about other things i don't know i don't know about guys but for chicks do your friends compliment you i love your hairstyle it's nice i love your dressing today wow you look bright today wow where are you going to you look awesome do they do that because let me tell you jealous friends won't tell you that jealous friends will see you're looking good they'll start giving you faces and they will not open their mouths to let you know that you're looking good they won't they will even start having attitudes they won't they won't tell you and when you're looking bad they'll start making you some funny funny jokes hey, hey you your hair makes you look like some like i don't know what don't laugh it's not funny they're making fun of you so do your friends compliment you do they in all areas do they please if you are in friendship right now each and one you know has a friend a friend a friend bestie bestie you know check check on these things do, do your friends comfort you do they comfort you in times of sickness in times of sadness when you're going through something you've lost your job you're there you're broke you're there you just have something going on in your life and it's stressful do they comfort you how do they do this i want you guys to understand so much because this is where we get to understand who are our friends and there are even friends who do this yeah they know i'm your best friend so if i'm not strong there are forces forces meaning other people they might come and take me out of the way so that you can be alone how do your friends come through for you when you in distress when you're stressed yeah do they bring peace in your life in every day to day life do they bring peace in your life are they the kind of people you tell them i'm sad today i feel so down rather than they comfort you and first understand what what you're going through they'll start giving you their issues instead you tell them ah today i feel like no niko down they'll start telling you hey wewe mimi nimeenda nikaanguka na motorbike how do your friends comfort you please be careful I, i tell people this all the time you have two ears for a reason and one mouth for a reason two ears is you hear more you hear more listen to what people say to you listen to words read between the lines read what people tell you there is a lot in what people tell you more than what you, you just hear you know you know you can listen to what you want to hear i can tell you today you look beautiful ugly girl you know your mind just was blocked at where beautiful you did not get to hear ugly girl let's be careful listen to what people say to you how do they comfort you do they run away when you need them are they the discouraging friends are they the negative vibes all the time yeah on to the eighth point do your friends grow with you hmm this is another one this is another one kindly check on this one when your friends grow do they grow with you do they leave you behind yeah you know there are people when they grow they go to another level in life they start doing good in their lives they run away from you they will actually run away from you no we can't roll anymore i'm on a different level you're just here 
yeah do they actually tell you see as much as i've gone to this level you can do this do they help you to grow yourself as much as they are growing i'm not saying that because i'm growing i should now hold for you to grow no if i'm growing am i helping you also to grow am i tagging you along in a journey what am i trying to say if i'm growing if i'm growing if i'm i have just changed a something different in my life i've gotten a better paying job do i run away from you yeah also check when you now it's you you're growing it's me how i is i'm growing how do my friends treat me do they run away from me do they start now gossiping me do they act jealous around me yeah you invite them for something they have excuses because now you grew now they have excuses they'll always try to tell you something that will bring you down they'll always try to demoralize you how do they act towards growth do you grow with them how does it work and when you grow how do they react those are things i've ever been told by someone that uh, you know nowadays i think we have changed what did they say they said um we have changed life has taken us in different directions <laughs> yeah so kindly listen to what people tell you most especially when they're doing good in their lives and also when you're doing good what do they do do they like comparing themselves to you do they even fake a certain lifestyle so that they can look like they're fitting yours that's a jealous person that's not your real friend your real friend is that friend even if you grow i am there happy for you and trust me they're very you are church sana please let's change let's change let's let's check ourselves let's change and in this channel we are going to unlearn so many things and we are going to learn many 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 other things yeah i also want to add that kindly let us put prayer in everything you know the bible says pray for everything i came to understand that that when prayer that when you pray for everything it means even if you want to take water pray for it if you want to move from here to your town to go and shop kindly pray for that journey from here to that shopping center where you go just pray for everything tell god to give you good friends if you're having bad friends right now if you want to change the kind of friends friends that you have right now you can give yourself a break you won't die there's nothing that is going to break from you in fact the only good friend is jesus so do this pray tell god kindly lord lead me to the good friends lead me to friends who will who will be a blessing to me you know we always tell god to give us friends who will be a blessing to us and also yourself tell god to always help you to be a blessed to a blessing to someone else okay be a blessing to someone god will give you a blessing friends who are blessings to you let us always pray and let us check on the things that i've taught you so guys this is rowan and cut kindly subscribe share and comment down below let me know where you're watching from let me know what you would like me to talk about is there something that you've seen fishy with your friend or something you'd like me to talk about i am going to discuss it here so guys we'll have a lot more in store we're gonna talk about more and more things trust me this is the home of happiness let me tell you a little bit about myself i i am a very very playful person so trust me we're gonna play here we're gonna have fun we're gonna laugh we're gonna do all these things at the same time we're gonna have self-growth we're gonna have self-development let us grow in all areas okay guys thank you so much for watching i love you so much continue supporting me see you on the next one Toodles, love you